All right, guys, this time we'll look at Windows 10 Bash Shell. So let's start up my VM here. And let's see here, what is that? And, um, well, this one only works on Windows 10 at the moment. Maybe they'll port it back to Windows 7 because I know there's a lot of people that use Windows 7 and stuff like that. Anywho, I think this is like their best decision they ever made. Like all the other crap is just spyware or whatever. But this thing, the Bash Shell on Windows, is actually useful. And um, the reason why I'm making this video is, you know, I know there's people that watch me on uh, their Macs and they're using some type of uh, homebrew or something like that to install their Unix tools. And this one, if you're on Windows, you can actually use Windows 10 and follow some of my videos. I'm not sure if it's like completely compatible, but I mean, it's Bash. Maybe in like 30 more years, they'll have like a Z shell. I'm not sure if actually Z shell will work on this too. Let me, maybe I'll try that right now. So anyways, you, if you have Windows 10, you need to enable, um, what was that one? The developer, uh, what was that developer? Mode. What the hell was that one? Let's search over it again. Dev. Oh, there you go. Uh, for developer settings here, you go in here and you enable the developer mode and it'll install some packages and so on and so forth. So that's step one. The other one was it was called feature some shit. Okay, there you go. Turn Windows feature on or off. That's the one. And in here, you go down to Windows Subsystem for Linux Beta, right? And after you enable that checkbox, uh, you I think you have to reboot or something. I forgot. And then uh, you have this Bash shell once you uh, have it, uh, you know, installed. And this one is called. Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Talk about a long fucking name, okay? And confusing too. It's like a threesome or something. But uh, anyways, uh, you have the Bash shell here, and it's pretty cool. They have like most of the tools works, or some of the common ones. I don't know like all of them, but I got Tmux to work. Look at this. You can have Tmux session, and uh, you can actually do Vim. Look at this, man. You can do Vim. So if you want a real text editor, you have to use Vim. Uh, anything else in here? Oh yeah, they have a uh, built-in package manager. Like if you ever use um, Max, they they have what was that uh, Homebrew, which is uses like formulas and all that shit. That thing, I tried it out. I think it was crap. I mean, for the solution for what it is, that you know, it's probably the best option. But they don't really have a real package manager, uh, you know, like on Linux. So. Uh, this one uses a real package manager like apt, so that's what we're gonna do here. All right, uh, I can use apt to search for I don't know music or something like that. Although not most most of these applications that has to do with uh, I guess maybe videos and audio might not work, but if it's like straight command line or something like that, uh, it should work. So who knows? Um, I haven't tried everything, but look at this. You can actually use htop. Now, each top in here, it only monitors um, whatever you do in, in the Bash shell. It doesn't like you know read out your Windows process or something like that. Maybe in the future it does. That'd be cool. But look at this. You can use H top from here. That's fucking awesome, All right? Uh, anything else? Oh, I did try loading up Finch. I didn't actually connect it to it yet. So, but look at this. You can use Finch uh, from your terminal here. If you want to chat with people on was the AIM and I don't know Facebook and MySpace and all that shit. But anyways, we have that there for Finch. I tried it Seamus. Doesn't seem like it works. So Seamus is out of the question. Maybe we'll. Uh, what was the other one called? I think it was called Mock. I said Mock, right? Um. Uh, what the hell? Let's see this here. Let's move up. It was either mock or mock P or something like that. 
This one is too long, man. I hate this um, type of style. Let's see here. Apt, sudo apt. Let's just install it. Install mock. I think that was called. And let's see if that music player works. So I'll wait for that to finish. But let's open up another session here. And what else can we do? I did try to M player. It doesn't seem to work. Um, like I said, like maybe music and videos or any of those are, uh, you know, type of GUI kind of thing. It, it probably not work. But I did try the uh, YouTube DL. Although this one's an old version, so that one didn't work. You have to do an upgrade or something like that. And I did try the uh, CC Live to download like YouTube videos. So let's try that here. So show you here. Um, I don't need to do that. We'll go to youtube.com and we'll download a video. What do we got here? Let's say this one, look at like two minutes or something like that. So we'll copy the link and we'll pause this video so we don't need it no more. Close it off. So we're going to use CC Live, but where we want to download it to, let's go to, uh, since we're in root right now, I believe. Or is it the home folder? Is this the home folder? Yeah, it is the home folder, but um, we want it to be in the C folder. So let's do MNT C and your username. So my username here. And we want to go to downloads. So this is our downloads folder on Windows. And I want to do CC Live. And we should be able to download the thing. I uh, couldn't paste um, in here. So Maybe because I'm using remote desktop, but this is how you paste if you couldn't paste in here. So let's do that. And it should download this video. Okay, and there we go. We have the video, I believe. And I'm not sure why I didn't have the extension. So let's rename it here. And we'll give that a uh, MP4 format. All right, so now it's an MP4, and we should be able to go to our downloads folder and play this damn thing using a VLC player or something like that, right? There we go. Look at this. And it's playing the video very slowly because I'm doing this uh, remotely. But there we go. It's playing, and you can actually download videos that way. Anything else in here. Oh, let's check back on our other... Um, session here so this one's finished mock p right so let's see if it runs no it doesn't seem to work with any type of uh also calls or, or uh, you know audio or video so maybe they'll fix that in the future but uh as far as right now i think only real you know command line apps and stuff like that so if you're watching this on windows um you know you can follow my playlist on command line or text user interface and get some use out of it I'll post it in the description or you can check out my channel for the playlist and you can use some of the command line apps so that's why I'm making this video because you know people can now uh, you know watch me on well I know people watch me on Macs already but if you watch me on um, Windows you can actually follow some of these tutorials that I uh, do and make it look useful when you're on Windows but anyways, that's a uh, a little look at uh, the Bash shell on Windows. What's it called? Uh, Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Change the fucking name, all right? But uh, there you go. Um, probably the most useful feature in Windows. Uh, I don't know. Since what else are they putting on Windows that is useful? Nothing really. But if you want to use some real Unix tools, and this is not like Sigwin or any of this other crap like. Uh, the command prompt or power crap uh this is straight linux anywho uh check it out if you're using windows 10 and you have all the uh, newest updates and everything that is it for this one so i want to get out of this